to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add and use Tailwind in Next.js. So uh, the first step is actually to create your uh, React app or if it's already created uh, you just run the NP npx create next app and then the name of your project. Then from, from there we're going to follow these steps. You have to install Tailwind, Post CSS and Auto Prefix Prefixer. I mean just copy the both of them. I'll put a link for this uh, below the video but even if you're going to follow this uh, watch my, my video to the end because there is an important step that we must add. So first thing is actually uh, paste that command and then you run it. It's going to add uh, those Tailwind configuration, the uh, yes, Tailwind config.js. Then I'm going to replace some content. Also, I'm going to replace whatever is in global global.css. Uh, once it's done, uh, we'll come to here Tailwind config, and then we replace this content uh, with whatever is here. Just copy this, and then place the content here save that file then just yes, copy this tailwind base and components and utilities copy that and then we come to our styles and then globals.css just above html gonna paste our code ah the next step you're going to do actually you're going to fix this this where it's saying a non-natural tailwind and how do we fix this uh, the first step you're going to actually install uh, an extension in vs code called style lint this one once it's once it's done installing come all over to settings then settings uh, we search for I usually just write a JSON and then you scroll down up to editing settings.json and then you're going to add two or three lines here. So the first one is going to be uh, CSS.validate. We're going to set it to false. And then the next thing you're going to add is stylelint.enable is equals to true. And then if you're if you're using uh, SCSS, you are going to actually you're going to also dis disable it by um, going to SCSS dot validate to false. And then we actually save that. Once you save that, you can actually see that the error is gone. Ah. The other things you can actually add is the configuration for for tailwind. Maybe you want to actually use maybe a particular color that suits you best. I'll give you an example. Let's use this one. You can specify the colors that you want. You can specify the font that you'd like to be using. So uh, when you call for, I'll give an example. Let's let's actually use this one. Just replace the content here. Let's see, let's copy up to here. Then you come to tailwind.config. Inside here, uh, I'll paste it here. Just one more thing I'd like to add this one for screens to specify the different sizes of the screen that you're going to be having. Let's, let's use the standard one but this one is all up to you, you can this uh, you can define the the screen size that you want to do so that when you're calling it to that particular file it it suits whatever you actually want to do uh gonna save that then we'll start our application Uh, let's run it here. Uh, 
and voila we have the app running let's create an extra file so that we test it there excuse me let's say maybe admin dot tsx and then export default and return something then to test our tailwind you can do like div class name and then now to know that it's actually working uh, let's add something extra here and then we see uh, I'm gonna say flex oh by the way yes I even forgot you can actually even add this extension which will actually help uh, with the commands that is tailwind css integration already had it installed so as you can see when i'm typing it already it's already telling me what i what i want to know and justify sorry center items center what i was saying like that yeah if you want to see the whole documentation of whatever i'm typing here it's here it's literally available here so you can just uh you can see the equivalent of it for css just in case you don't know what does what you can also search for it and you'll actually find it uh there yeah. so let's navigate to admin Oh, sorry. Let's see. Let's give it a height of screen. Yeah, okay, it's working. Thank you. I hope this video helps you out. And uh, oh yeah, soft example.